attention to its vice president and UEFA chief Michel Platini in Zurich. But Platini didn't attend the hearing into a controversial payment he received from outgoing FIFA president Sepp Blatter four years ago. Blatter appeared before the committee on Thursday. FIFA's reeling from the worst corruption scandal in its more than 100-year history, with 41 people already charged by U.S. prosecutors. Blatter and Platini were suspended for 90 days in October, pending the outcome of a full investigation into their conduct. This after the Swiss Attorney General's office started criminal proceedings against Blatter over the 30 million rand payment to his deputy in 2011. Both men have denied any wrongdoing. Blatter insists the payment was above board. He says the two had a verbal contract and Platini was remunerated for work done for FIFA years before. On Thursday, Blatter spent eight hours defending the payment to the committee, made up of four judges. Day two will focus on Platini, but his lawyers have indicated that he will boycott proceedings. He believes his case has been prejudged. A ruling in the matter is expected early next week. If found guilty, the two could be banned from the sport for years. The Swiss Justice Ministry has since confirmed that it has frozen millions of Swiss francs in 50 bank accounts relating to FIFA following a request from US investigators. Meanwhile, Russian President Vladimir Putin has described Blatter as a very respected person who deserved to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. Putin made the comments during his annual news conference in Moscow. He added that Blatter's contribution to the humanitarian sphere in the world was colossal. Putin also reiterated that Russia won the rights to host the 2018 World Cup fairly. Russia, however, was suspended from athletics last month after a World Anti-Doping Agency report exposed widespread state-sponsored doping and related corruption in that country. Russian athletes are now set to miss the World Indoor Championships in Portland in the United States in March and are in a race against time to be cleared to compete in the Rio de Janeiro Olympics in August next year. Liesl Zankel, SABC News. That's a wrap.